Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is proportional representation in government? Proportional representation is an electoral system designed to ensure that the number of seats held by a political party or group in a legislative body is directly proportional to the number of votes they receive in an election. This system aims to reflect the full diversity of opinion within a country, making the elected body more representative of the electorate's preferences. In contrast to majority or plurality systems, where a single candidate can win a constituency with less than half of the votes, proportional representation ensures that minority groups also receive a fair share of representation. This is achieved through the use of multi-member constituencies, where multiple representatives are elected from a single district. Systems of proportional representation. There are several methods to implement proportional representation. Party list system. Voters cast their ballots for a party's list of candidates and each party receives a share of seats proportional to the votes received. For example, if a party gets 40% of the votes, it would win approximately 40% of the seats. Single transferable vote, STV. Voters rank their preferred candidates and seats are allocated based on the ranking. This system is used in countries like Ireland and Malta. Additional member system. Voters cast two votes, one for a candidate and one for a party. This system combines elements of both single member and proportional representation systems. Key characteristics. Proportional representation systems require multi-member election contests, where votes are pooled to elect multiple representatives at once. This can be done in multi-member voting districts or even countrywide elections. For instance, in the European Parliament, each member state has a number of seats roughly proportional to its population, and elections must be held using a proportional representation system. Advantages and disadvantages. Proportional representation has several advantages, including better reflection of people's preferences, higher voter turnout, and more representation for minority groups. It eliminates wasted votes by ensuring that even small parties can gain representation. However, it can also lead to more complex electoral processes and potentially less stable governments due to the formation of multi-party systems. Examples and usage. Proportional representation is widely used in many countries, including Belgium, Denmark, Finland, and Germany. For example, in Germany's 2020-21 election, the seat share of parties closely corresponded to their vote share, allowing even small parties to gain representation in the Bundestag. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.